If you enjoy watching Common Ground online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org. Lakeland Public Television presents Common Ground, brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Common Ground, I'm your host, Scott Knudsen. On this episode, follow Wesley May of the Red Lake Nation as he and his crew paint this 50-foot mural on Bemidji's wastewater treatment facility. Hi, my name is Wesley May, founder of Wesley May Arts. Are you ready now? That one. Numa Gwadman, Indigenous Cause. My name is Golden Eagle Feather in Ojibwe. I love painting, and what we're going to do here over the next few weeks, we're going to paint this 26 by 56 foot wall with an image that strikes and brings voice to the water, the way we treat the water, and the way we come together to protect it and honor it. Here we are today, we're looking at the processes we're going to be going through on doing this 26 by 56 foot mural on a wastewater treatment facility in downtown Bemidji. When I do my art, I love doing, let's call it, relationships. And the purpose of this mural is to display the relationship that the wastewater treatment facility has with the community. So what do we do is that the piece will be called Protect, Respect, Honor, and Give Thanks. Well, what the first thing it starts with is that relationship of the water. The first thing we think about is water is good. Water loves us, it nourishes us, it does so many good things for us that we want in a loving relationship, we want to protect it, we want to respect it, we want to honor it. And it's the relationship that we have with Mother Earth, nature, or however people want to perceive it. So when we think about water, we automatically think about the goodness that it brings. We want to protect it, we want to respect it, we want to honor it through giving thanks for all the blessings that it gives to us. And that's what we're here to do today. You know, I've been a visual artist for over 20 years. Now it's just it transferred from being outwardly with everything, with, but sharing what I'm going through inside. And that's what I love doing. The task ahead of Wes and his crew requires many stops. Wes is joined by Joe LeBlanc. For their first stop, Wes has placed an order for paint at Bemidji's old schoolhouse. Well, good afternoon, people. We're here at the old schoolhouse ready to pick up some paint, supplies, for the wastewater treatment facility project. Care to join me? Here we are. Sunshine. <laughs> Where's all the smiles at today? Mm, so I hear we got a bunch of paint here. Yeah. How, how big was that truck that came in? Huge. Oh. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> yeah, those, uh, yeah. So you probably want to use those first. Oh. <laughs> Should we go check it out? Yeah. 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 It's down by the front door. Oh, it's right here. Here we go, here we go. What we got? Got gallons and gallons. The medium, the varnish. It's all, it's all, it's all there. <laughs> That's a lot of varnish. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, back it up. I thought about that, it doesn't look like very much. But once this gets out of these boxes and it's laying on the side of the building, it's gonna be like, man. Flavor explosions for the eyes. <laughs> Back the truck up real quick. <laughs> Ex 
Exciting, exciting. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. It's gonna be different, huh? Yeah. Doesn't look like much sitting there when we start pulling them out. Yep. Here we go right here. Okay. Thank you, Lois Dale. Oh, yeah. Old School has been such a help and inspiration to everything that I've been doing my whole life. Oh, thank you. I thank, thank you. you. Thank you for what you do in the community. Okay. Diane's dance studio. <laughs> Gotta be there. Nice yeah. to meet you. Katie. Joe, by the way. Joe. Katie. Katie. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> mm. She's a rock star. Right. Yep, thanks a lot. Mm. Yes. And here we go, off to have some fun. <laughs> that would be fun. We're gonna start off with a Liquitex gesso. It's a thick medium, it's gonna bond to the concrete. And when we go over that, it'll be white so that it'll brighten it up so that it's not a gray undertone. So then we'll start with the 100% acrylic paints so that it's, it's very flexible and it dries fast, but it's very easy to work with once you start mixing it. Then we'll go through with our um, Liquitex brand clear coat over the top so that it'll last for a long time. Maria, what? there's two big eagles up here. Is there? I'm the blessing a new beginning. Come on, huge too. Wes and Joe are off to Acme Tools of Bemidji to buy and rent the equipment necessary to paint the tall wall. Think you'll need earplugs? Uh, well, I, don't know. I don't know if I can handle listening to you holler when you're hanging <laughs> on to that basket up there. <laughs> so that's what we got here. This is my Spider-Man gear, all right? We got this here. They're not gonna let me do that though, so. What we're going to do is go with some harnesses and we're going to pin ourselves to the basket so that we're not just standing up there getting ready to fall. We'll get the whole lawn for just a little while. We need these so we're visible. Yep. So everybody sees us. Yep. Wondering what we're doing. As you know, we're going to be smiling. Say westmanarch.com every little while. This is a safety harness. So do you want to go with the lowest bidder? <laughs> Yeah, we're going way up, 50 feet up in the air. All on the, on the lowest price stuff we can get. <laughs> Can't wait. Let's do it now. Let's get a piece <laughs> of rope and tie us up to the top. <laughs> yep, they said it was legal. They said it was legal. They said it was illegal to cross the things over though. <laughs> so we got our vest. We got them ordering. Now the next thing, we're going to get the boom lift. And go way up here. Go. Jumping off the top and painting, that's all that's going to be the challenge. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's the main thing is we always got to keep smiling during this. Come on, Fred. Let's go to work. Right, Barney. <laughs> going to have a lot of fun doing this. And basically, the main challenge in this piece is being in the height. Got our bowling bags ready to go. Safety gear. And it's on. It's on. Almost. Yeah, Acme Reynolds was very helpful in our process here. Yeah, but we'll be backing up over here. We're getting a big 50-foot lift. Hydraulic lift is necessary to reach the heights presented by this project. Wes and Joe are briefed by Clarence Stately, a Native American employee at Acme. 50 feet, 50 feet tall. I figured it just got to be on some level, huh? Before it'll even work. I'll give you a quick rundown on how this works. Okay. So what you do is make sure this is full out. Now what that does is you hold that in. This will level it out for you, it'll actually raise it up a little bit. So you can basically control everything from down here if you want. You know, this extends your arm, goes out, tilts your basket. You know, all the controls are taken in a little cube. If you hold it that way and you use the joystick, you see that it has black and white arrows. Mm -hmm. So in order to engage, to go up and down, you have to hold this to the left and you hold this little Right oh, here. Right yep. All right. You pull that in, 
And of course, the black arrow, you go forward, there's a black arrow right here as well. Same as the model. Push that forward, your basket will start to lift up. White arrow, go down. If you want to go up, tilt that forward. Okay. Then you start going up. So it's all fairly simple. Okay, how would this be on um, on a hill? Is it? Um, as long as it's not too steep of a hill, the uh, the arms will level it out for you. So okay. it automatically does that. It'll let you know. Okay, yep. you just want to engage your handbrake whenever you're using it during operation, just to be on the safe side. That's put the handbrake down. You're not going anywhere. Up. The wheels can move. And keep that in mind too when you're pulling it. <laughs> we've, had a, we've had some people take off with it with the handbrake on. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a manual, right? All the stuff you need to know to be safe. All right. Alrighty. My main challenges in this, and what I've noticed about everything that I do, and I know a lot of people relate with this, the main challenge is myself. Motivating myself, getting up in the morning, doing what I have to do to make sure that this gets done, following through on everything that I plan, and that's the main challenges that I have. Here we go, WestonMillers.com, living it up, living the dream. Wes and Joe are joined by Charlie May. A huge one too. And their friend soaring high above. Wes's crew practices with the equipment, preparing to paint. Right, that's the brake. Brake has to be on. You say you brought the pressure washer too? Yeah. All right, we'll see where we can hook up for that. There should be some stuff around here. Doesn't look like there's much up on top, but it's mainly surrounding these lights that are um, got the, the spiders and stuff. And there's one like, the, like that, like that big that was just chilling right in here. So there we go. Put some tobacco down, ask them to move while we paint their apartment, and then, then they can come back. Chill on your arm.
Wes, Joe, and Charlie are off to the Indigenous Environmental Network to visit a community mural produced with the help of Simone Senegals. All right, let's go. We got to dig it out though, Scott, so I don't know if you want to... It might take a minute before you have to be carrying your camera like that. Oh. Yeah, something behind you. <laughs> it says ask questions. Okay, then. All right, so yeah, it is kind of behind a lot of stuff. So maybe get these out of the way and then I'll move these lights out of the way. Oh, that turned out beautiful. Yeah, didn't it? We had some really good workers on it. And then maybe we'll put it in this big room. Thanks guys. Yeah, and a little close so it doesn't put too much pressure on the feet. Okay. That's good. I think that's about perfect. Good Where's rock. your rocks at? They're still up there. On Where the are they? Side. Oh yeah, there they go. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. Yeah. Alright, I got it. I got it. Well, good morning or good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm Wesley May, this is Simone Senegals with uh, Indigenous Environmental Network. What we're doing here, or we've been working on for a, a couple of years now, is this intergenerational mural. What it, we're doing with it is, it was done by the community, not by just me, or just by Simone, or in a network, it was done by the whole community. What we're doing is raising the voices of those rarely heard, the ones that ain't out there speaking politically. It gave them the opportunity to come in and just show that they care about the environment. Simone, if you'd like to let them know a little bit about IEN's role in bringing this project together. I think like Wes said, it brings people together who aren't normally together or who aren't normally being heard um, and allows them to express their voice in a very powerful way. Art is such a powerful medium of expression. Um, and that's one of the things I love about Wes's art so much is he's so rooted in community. You know, you walk down the street and there's Wes smiling at you. And he, he's very, very rooted in our community and in our culture. And yet, like all good art, it's got a universal appeal. It's beautiful and it speaks to all of us no matter where we're from. So to have him lead this project was really great because he kind of laid the foundation and then we um, created space for people to come in and, and put their own voices onto this mural. And it was, it turned out beautifully. It's really a lovely thing. Yeah, I think when you're talking about community art, Wes is definitely that. Definitely rooted in community. That was beautiful. What Simone said. <laughs> <laughs> what she said. Yeah, so I mean, we actually, um, someone here is with us today who worked on the mural, Charlie, and I kind of wanted to see what he thought about what his experience was working on this mural. Well, working with this mural, you know, like what I said before, it was just like how you go at life. And I was sitting there, I was just mixing colors and what I could do to it to make it look good. Then I was not just up and mix colors and put paintbrush to the board. And I was like, oh, look it, there's no rocks here yet. So I started going along the sides and putting rocks. I was doing my best and eventually I just started adding to them and putting, trying to put more color to them and stuff. And yeah, it was pretty fun and I can't wait to put it up and then I'll be like, yeah, 
Can't see them, but I put rocks on that thing, you know. It's Those rocks have a lot of thought to them. Everybody had their part in it, their voice, no one was turned away. And now when they look at it now, when they walk away from this, they walked away with knowing that art is the same way with life. All they gotta do is fix whatever they feel is a mistake because the only mistakes on here are what we think are there. And when they're not really there, you can realize that just fix it, keep on moving, and that as we work on the mistakes, the more beautiful the people we become. And the crew is off. Wes continues his work on the mural. Woohoo, good afternoon. We're going up. Next stop, way up there, that's like 35 feet, 40 feet up. Watch me go backwards and go down first. You gotta see this. <laughs> lay this coat down first so that paint's gonna stick to it. Then I paint it, then I seal coat it. And then when they seen the whole process done, we did it on the side. Yeah. And they're like, you can go up and scratch this. It ain't gonna scratch. You can, you know. It's not gonna peel. No. <laughs> That's great. Oh, Anin, Anin. I heard there was somebody doing graffiti out here. Help, oh, wow. help, they had it all over his spot. Oh, so it just get started then? Yeah. Anibeigumagayapintesongapintsigayotayetkanendabanamawatikumagayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
If you have an idea for a common ground piece that pertains to North Central Minnesota, email us at legacy at lptv.org or call us at 218-333-3014. To view any episode of Common Ground online, visit us at lptv.org. To order episodes or segments of Common Ground, call 218-333-3020. Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People, November 4th, 2008. If you enjoyed this episode of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org.